Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, learn about Selenium with Julia. So these are the requirements we need it. We need Selenium, and then we'll be using WebDriver and then Pico. So these are the main requirements. Okay, so first of all, let's go to any search engine and then search for Selenium, the web browser, go to your website, seleniumhq.org. Then you go to either you download it from here or you come to your download page here. Then you download the Selenium. So that is especially if you're on Windows or any other system. So below here they will have some drivers also. So this is for Python, right? Python, and then you can also go straight down to Chrome Web Driver, which is also very important. So you search for Chrome Web Driver and then or you can download the Chrome Web Driver from the official page down here. So we have Chrome, Google Chrome Driver, or Mozilla for Firefox. Okay, so that the next one is the Web Driver itself, Web Driver. Jl. This is a Julia package. So you go to this GitHub and then download it. Or and then the most important one is the PyCon, which is going to serve as a bridge between the Julia Web Web Driver Jl and then the Selenium. Okay, so let's try it. The easiest way is to use pip install. This is going to be the easiest way. Is to use pip install selenium. Right? Okay. That's the easiest way. That is if you have a Python as a, on the system. Then you launch your Julia. Then you use from the Julia to you can also install it by this format by using pkg.add. Then the first one is the Pi call, which I said, as I said, is going to be the bridge between them. So I'll comment it out because I've already installed it. And the next one is pkg dot add the web driver. So web driver so because I've already installed it, I'll be commenting them out. So sometimes when you are installing, you may have errors or you have some problems. So the best way is to one of the ways you can also do is to use pkg clone sorry for the mistake <laughs> clone right so you can go to the official website here the web driver then you go to clone so you copy it and then you paste it here so that is one of the ways in case the pkg.add web driver doesn't work it's this one of the ways you can also use so i have it already so i'll comment it out then you use so, so when, with these three steps you are finished with it so using the web driver that is going to give you the access to the package the first one you anytime you drive I don't know you have some error you may have a load error but you can still load it again this is just slowing down because of the error is going to generate the load error and you can still load it, load it up again using web driver then Browser, that's going to be our browser. So init for initiate, then Chrome is going to be our browser we are going to be using. So inside this bracket, you can put your path in case it doesn't recognize your path, you can put your path to your Chrome driver which you downloaded. Right, that is if you're on Windows and then any of the systems, or you can use Firefox, or you can use Phantom JS if you have. But in this case, we'll be using Phantom, Phantom JS. In this case, we're using Chrome. Okay. So it's going to open our browser. I see that it's open our browser for us. Nice. So you can also maximize the window or the browser. So maximize window and browser. So let me reduce it so that you can see that that's been maximized. Let us maximize it for us, which is nice. So we can let me reduce so we can do it simultaneously beside it and see what we are doing that we are actually controlling the browser. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next thing is that you're going to be using get or the URL to so get the browser from the browser, get the browser, it takes to augment the browser and then the URL. So the URL we're going to be using is going to be HTTP that is Google slash slash www.google.google.com. Okay. 
it's going to open it see what here see that it's open that's open for us in our browser google right nice and the next one is you can check the title of the page it's google you can also check for the page source or you can even actually check for the current url of the browser so that in case you have several browsers open you can just check for the current browser which is still google and then there's also another thing you can also do we'll be trying to find a element like query so i'll be searching the normal syntax then when you search for it jcharistic see there is a queue in the url so the queue sound for query right so let's check on something like julia computing rather the computing okay so that i see that this the queue here that's the syntax so we want to find element from the page from the source source code or the page source code query so query element let's go to find element by name so the name you're going to be using is going to be q so browser and then our q so this one also takes two arguments the browser which represents the current browser open and then the q for the query so when i go on so now it has loaded this one i send keys i want to see automatically type a word there so i made a mistake okay send keys so query element and then it's going to move on perfectly for me so that i have to move on with this so julia the other the query i want to send so julia language so you going to automatically type it first i'm not the one typing right that's very nice so i can clear it with clear then query element i'm going to clear the search place us that's perfectly clear you can also do it again so send julia with the docs okay you see that has written it perfectly for us you can even click it with this query element query element let us click it for us okay so let's see some other things you can also do you can be able to navigate to the other pages so we the dogs this one okay I want to check some of the pages having a click element nest okay right this is nice so we want to see that there is a nest here right we want to be able to click to the navigate the next page from our Julia so we're going to do my page we want to be our page search page source other <laughs> It is going to just load our page source for us, and going to be our browser. We're going to load the current source code for the current browser or current URL inside the browser. Okay, so next element, next element, which is going to be for how to navigate to the next page. So let's make it move to next page. So find elements by link test which is very important then the element there is nest so this nest down there it's going to move on so it's going to text to augment the browser and then the nest right okay so, so when i click on it let me perfectly align it so when i do we click then move to next. This is like going to move it to the next element, the next page rather, because of the length test that like has moved it perfectly. You can do it again for another one. Next, and then we're going to move that has moved, change the page to getting started. So that's one of the ways you can be controlling. So you can even write a script to do that. Let's check the previous one. So move to previous and find element by a length test. So it's going to be previous right for the previous that is down there so let me show you the previous so this is the previous here right okay so we want to use the same format we close it then click move to next so it's going to actually move to the next the previous page rather so that is moving it to the introduction and do it again 
So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can just put it inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.